Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at the Transformer Starscream from the War of Cybertron uh, toy line. Got a real good deal. It was $29.99 originally. Got it for $12.99 at Ollie's. So if you have Ollie's near you, you might still have some left uh, along with some other Transformers. But Starscream being one of the main line guys from the G1 era. And they have some, I guess, newer guys that I didn't recognize. So I do like Starscream. So it was a cool pickup. Not a big fan of War of Cybertron, the show. But these things look really good. So, let's check it out. Alright, here we have Starscream from the War of Cybertron toy line. Our trilogy show it was on Netflix. It was not a good show at all, in my opinion. I uh, tried to get into it. I was very excited about it when it was uh, advertised. And I watched it, and I was like, yeah, the show sucks. So, the pacing was bad. Optimus Prime was bad. Uh, I watched maybe three, maybe four episodes. I mean, it had a cool look. It had Megatron, it Ultra Magnus. Should have been way better. I don't understand why it turned out the way it did, but that's the way things are these days, I guess. So I'm gonna open them up here. Looks like he's tied in pretty well. Um, in the box anyway so there are no more boxes for me for the most part in there right good so it definitely looks cool definitely tell it's star scream off the bat actually I'm gonna cut these out Is this one maybe? Probably not. You know, I probably should watch someone unbox these so I do this better. I guess one would be the fun in that, right? Only one only one uh tie-in. I like that. Makes it a lot easier. So these are pretty good size. Um, I have to compare it with. So let's see. We have a stormtrooper here. So I believe these are a ten. So this is probably about six, six inch in size. Six inch figure, I think. So. So the detail on these are really cool. Like I said, that's definitely Starscream with the color scheme spot on. Um, it may be easy to transform, looks like. But like I said, I'm not going to do that because who might like I would snap something off. <laughs> so, but really, at the price, I could have bought two of them. I know some people buy two of these and they have one in robot form and then they display the other one by it in a vehicle form. Uh, me, the point is really robot form because, I mean, we all know it. Airplane looks like, and it probably looks cool top down. This kind of kills the effect, this bottom part here, which I think the old um, G1s looks probably better in airplane form. But I will admit, these look more like the cartoon in robot form, which I think is what you're really going to go for. So, for me at least, uh, the plastic's pretty decent, like versus that generic Megatron. That I reviewed. Is this all the way down. Well, let's see, I hope so. Okay. And some articulation. Here's the side blasters. Some articulation on the feet. That's nice. So probably part of the transformation process. Wings here. So it's mm, kind of a little bit fragile, but it's not like junky, you know what I mean? It's not like I shake it, I don't hear a bunch of rattling or things moving on their own, which is a very good sign. So if you like Starscream, this is, I would say, a definite pickup. It's very cool. There's no Starscream in the cartoons, voiced by 
<coughs> the same voice actor who did Cobra Commander. So if I understand, in the comic books, Starscream is, of course, very feared because he's like the, you know, a general. Which we see, I can't, like in the Bumblebee live action movie, <coughs> he's definitely more of a combat oriented um, figure versus, you know, the kind of conniving guy he was in the G1 cartoon. But kind of what made him more of a character, I think. So he definitely remembers Starscream from his voice and always trying to backstab Megatron, et cetera, et cetera. So this is very cool. I'm very uh, happy with this purchase. So stands up probably really easy. Turn that there. And I'll pan around for some stand-up shots. Get some facts about Starscream that I'll look up versus what I remember as a kid. So I know he's one of the three planes from the original alongside of Thundercracker and Skywarp, which are also both very cool. Uh, which I actually liked more as a kid. And I probably like the color scheme a little more. And but all cool names, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp. That's that's a very uh that's a cool trio. So if I do find the other ones, I will be getting them. Probably maybe at full price. Nah, nah, nah. Trying to buy anything at full price. Who am I kidding? All right. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.